faded for. I had the faded nigga at the faded court. The tomato was the model. Either way, the boy the question played. I won't say it no more. Yeah. On the road again. Sit with me, boy. I can't wait to get on the road again. Heard the hell that dope, though. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, good people, man? I hope everybody's good. I hope everybody's Friday is going well. You having a good morning? Yeah, what's the call? You knock it out. Get ready for the weekend. Anybody that got to work on the weekend is what it is. Knock it out. Get it done. On the way to go see some fam. Uh, and you know, I just crossed my. Uh, why not do a joint video? <laughs> why not do a joint video, real quick? You know, just uh, put some end of the year thoughts out there and. Uh, you know, just what we're gonna do. This video is gonna be we gonna we gonna talk about some of the things we've learned. You know, some of the things we've taken. You know, we've taken in this year, and, and you know how we want to make next year a better year. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, as far as not necessarily putting plans out there, but just saying like you know how how this year has helped us grow. You know what I'm saying? That's right, that's right. So, you know, with me, I'll go ahead and start it. <clears throat> you know, I've definitely continued to learn how to. Um, be more patient um, with just life in general because you know there there's just they, you know before there were just so many different times where I stressed myself out unnecessarily because you know I'm just so you know be on the go be on the go be on the go ready for something new to happen ready for this to happen wanting to make moves and when you know certain things don't work out because there are times where, you know, I try to put my hands on certain things and unfortunately, you know, you, know, you take risks, you know, sometimes you end up losing out and it is what it is. That's that's a part of life. But, you know, there are times where I, I let it get to me and it, I just let this black cloud like cover me and I just say like, like I, I'm just stuck and I just don't have nothing to do. And it's like you can't do that. You know, you, you, you take the lessons that you get from the failures, you know, from the missteps and you continue to be patient, you know, you take whatever you learn from it and you apply it to whatever the next move may be. And I had to, you know, con and, and, you know, I've learned that in the past, but, you know, as I'm getting older and as I've tried different ventures and uh, try learning different things and stuff like that, you have to keep reapplying the lessons that you've learned over the years. And, you know, sometimes you, you tend to forget, sometimes you tend to let things get by you and let things still get to you. But, the overall theme is to always, always apply the things that you've learned. There's no point in learning. There's no point in going through these things if you're not going to learn from them. You're going to keep making the same mistakes. You're going to keep stressing yourself out. You know, there's one point that I was just like my mute system was breaking down. And I know that just the stressing on top of it, you know, probably didn't help. So, you know, one big thing is to continue to be patient. And, you know, that's 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 one of my things right there. Let, let the insane genius take one thank hey, man something very insightful uh, but um kind of just to piggyback off of that you know it's just can't really can't can't really stress too much about things you can't really control you know what I'm saying the things that are out of control you know you know the best thing you can do is just do your best with what you can control you know what I'm saying and um Honestly, man, you gotta have some fun in life, man. You know, I know that's easier said than done sometimes, but you gotta have some fun in life, man. You can't just stress, you know, just the stress be on your brain, you know, all that just twenty four seven. You know, like you got you gotta have some fun, man. You know, and I know twenty twenty, you know, Mike's gonna look to have some more fun, you know, travel, you know, just do do more things, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, I'm hoping to do the same as well, and just you know. Take take some chances. Um, don't be afraid of failure. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't try at all, you already failed. You know. So it's sometimes some things are just worth trying. You know. And if you if it doesn't work the first time, it's a lesson learned. You know. You just keep doing what you gotta do to get better at it. Um, I know a lot of. I know, I, know, I know a lot of changes have happened this year, you know what I'm saying, as far as just um, you know, financially, um, spiritually, you know, it's 
a lot, a lot of growth has happened this year, and you know you just gotta really reapply it next year. And um, I'm saying, man, just try your best to make it a better year. And that's it. Um, All right, Mike. Oh man, back, back on me already. Yeah. We'll keep going back and forth, back and forth. What, what else I got this year? This year has taught me. You know, this year continues to um, the, as the years go by, it, it continues to build up my faith. You know, like. I remember, you know, at one point, man, my faith was so on E. I, you know, and that, don't get me wrong. There are times where you just don't want to hear it. Like, I don't want to hear that God got it. I don't want to hear that God, un, he's in control. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Like, there are times where you do get like that. But I remember there was a specific time in my life where, man, like, I didn't pray. I didn't. Uh, I didn't crack open my Bible. I, man, God didn't even cross my mind, like, at one particular point, you know. And, me too, me too. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. And it's like, you just get caught up. That's why, but, I, but I've, I've spoken about that before, before, when you get caught up in life, and you get caught up in just the in and outs of every day, and you let certain things slip by you. And, and you know, that was one of the, because, you know, Regardless of what anybody believes, you know, I don't knock nobody and I don't try to force nothing up on nobody or anything along, that, along those lines, you know, let me put that disclaimer out there. But me personally, in my own walk in life, I believe in what I believe in and my spirituality is a big part of me, is a big part of who I am, you know. I don't, I don't say that I'm the best, that I'm the, the whitest of the white, you know, purest of the purest, you know, I will never, ever, 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 ever say that. But my spirituality and my faith is a big part of who I am. It's a big part of why I don't knock a lot of y'all out. I'm not going to lie. I mean, <laughs> put my hands on a lot of people that really tick me off in life. You know, you, if you're an atheist, you better thank somebody because I ain't put my hands on you. And that's one of the reasons, <laughs> you know, all jokes aside. Am I joking, though? <laughs> <laughs> No, but seriously though, like you know, this year continues to you know to test my faith, continues to test my knowledge, continues to um, it continued to um, just help me grow, you know, and and just learn how to open my heart more to my faith and and to jump even further to people. This year, I want to honest, I want to honestly say that I I feel like I've done a lot better with people. Because I mean, when I say I, I mean I give people chances. I, um, but when I say once my discernment is up and once I'm, you know, a particular situation I'm done with, or and I don't let it stress me out anymore. I remember there was one point in my life, man, where I would let people and how they their actions and the things that they do, I would let that stress me out so much, man. And it's just like I really feel like. This year was a, a big test for me because, you know, in the last few years, you know, I, I would be getting better with it. But, you know, there were still moments there was still, you know, a person here or there that would make me feel away and this and that and whatever. So this year, I feel like, you know, a lot of my growth comes from, you know, just the certain people that I've met, the certain people that have come into my life and the people that have gone out of your life, you know, out of my life, you know, because it's, growth still happens even when things are cut away, growth still happens, you know, so it's a matter of how you look at it, you know, you, you, you thought this particular person was going to be in your life for some time, but they're not, you know, and you, what do you do? Do you sit there and you get angry? Do you sit there and you're like, well, dang, why? And what? No, you know, what I, what I learned to do is I say, well, you know, that person was only meant to be there for this amount of time. That's cool. That chapter is closed. Or, you know, this particular time it's closed. And what did I learn from that person? What did I learn from our interactions? What did I learn from the things that we spoke about? How we moved around each other? If we did business, what did I take from the business aspect of things, you know? So I think just people in general have helped me a lot this year. People Usually people always help me, but it's, it, you know, but I mean, in a way to where I, I've started to really look at things from a different perspective and started to really take into account what it is these people are around me for why are they around me 
and take responsibility for those that are around you because if a person is around you and they just look man if a person is just not don't deserve to be around you yo you gotta curve them man you gotta just keep it moving and then the those that do deserve to be around you i'm gonna speak on that really quick because there are those i tend to um i tend to t- think very little of most people so most people that do come into my life, you know, I already have a preconceived notion of you and stuff. I'm sorry, you know, not necessarily a judgment of your of who you are and stuff like that, but just okay, you know, I wonder how long you're gonna last, that, you know, type that, stuff. Well, yeah, and just to you know clarify, that kind of just comes from how we was brought up, how we was raised, and then just you know the people that have done us dirty in our lives. You know what I'm saying? From the closest people. You know what I'm saying? Family, you know, blood, you know, and, and then, you know, close friends. Like, it's not like we just, we, we, we think we're above anybody, anything like that. It's just our trust issues. You know what I'm saying? We just, we, we, we have we have issues trusting people right off the bat. You know, you got to earn that. You know, we can't just give you our trust. You got to earn that. You know, that should be with everybody. You know what I'm saying? But not a lot of people are like that. A lot of people are just better that, at, a, that, at that than us, you know. But how we are, we just... You, you gotta earn our trust, though. Simple, simple. And I know, so, and, and you know, and honestly, and truly, and most times, most people feel like you know they don't want to put up the work. And you know, I have a really good friend right now, and you know, we we joke about it all the time, and and laugh, and like when I say we really joke about it, you know, they'll say, "I wonder if you're gonna stop talking to me tomorrow," you know, and I'll be like, "Well, you didn't do anything yet to make me mad," you know, or, or whatever, but. You know, it's 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 a it's a serious thing because you know I, I I do tend to drop people like a bad habit. Like I, I'm just like I don't have time for your foolishness. I really don't because if it's one thing I know if if you know if you even have an inkling of thought of who I am, one of my biggest things is my peace of mind. If you so much is try to put a chink in my peace of mind and my just trying to get through life and just chilling and this and that. I uh, <laughs> just be ready for the phone to stop ringing. Like just, just all right. I don't want to deal with that. you know. Just don't feel like dealing with that. But you get to a point where it's like you do have to open up a bit to you know because you don't know who's gonna help you in life. You don't know what people are gonna show you in life. And it's not that you know when I say help you and show you things and stuff like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Monetarily, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, how do I want to say this? Like, you know, like a door, you know, opportunity or something like that. Sometimes people come around to really tell you about yourself, to really say, "Yo, like, you're a little this, you know, you're a little that. You need to be a little softer. You need to speak a little better. You need to stop barking on people." You know, I don't know how many times I've heard that one. Like, yeah. stop. St- I, you know, even though I'm, I'm like, even though I, cause I tend to, when I'm heightened, you know, and I'm talking about things, I tend to start really raising my voice and, you know, it's not, um, when you want to have open dialogue with people, I even did a video on that, you know, it's not what you're saying, it's how you say it. Yeah, to me you personally, know? it's like me, I got to work on, like, I'll be shutting down sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like. If I'm just, like, not having a good day or whatever, I don't want to be bothered. Like, don't talk to me. That's what anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I got to work on that, you know what I'm saying? Just because it's not healthy, you know? Man, he be having me in the house be like, dang, what I do to you? <laughs> it just be like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really a vocal person, so, like, and, and I don't really, you know, I'm not too hard for my skin or anything like that, but I don't really show emotion like that, you know, express feelings and stuff like that. That's just how I. That's just how I am, you know. And, and it's not healthy. I gotta work on it. My mom tell me that all the time. Mike, you know, Mike understands more. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's it's, it's still something that I struggle with. But you know, I I feel like I have gotten better at it. You know, slowly but surely. But you know, that'll be something. 2020, I definitely need to work on more stuff. So you know, there's there's so many things that you know when you sit down and you think about it. You know, there's so many things that I that I've taken in this year, that I've learned this year, that I've seen, and that I've, you know, just there's things that I go back and I look at, and I'm saying this 
when you can go back and look at a certain point in your life and say, yeah, I may not be where I want to be, but this is where I'm supposed to be. Because when I go back and think about some of the decisions that I could have potentially made, I don't even know where my life would be right now. Because some decisions, I'm telling you, is, is a difference between... <laughs> be a difference between life and death, be a difference between just you having peace of mind, you know, you being, you know, responsible for yourself and yourself only, you know, it's so it's like, as the year went by, man, I just took the lessons as they came, and, you know, we just keep it moving, man, like, that's just, that's, that's another big lesson, too, that's what this year has really taught me, and I know I say that a lot, keep it moving, just keep it moving like you know like this crap is gonna happen like that's stuff is going to happen like get that in your head like stuff is going i'm a biker and one of the sayings is you know there's two type of riders you know is those that have been down and those that's going down you know what i'm saying you're gonna fall one day you need to take that same philosophy and apply it to life crap is gonna happen to you i don't care if you got all the money in the world I don't care if you done married your high school sweetheart, the love of your life, your kids are angels and going to Harvard at five years old, whatever. You can have the perfect life, whatever, like that. Something is going to happen because that's the way life works. And the way life works is that it, as you're going through things, these things that happen teach you how to deal with things. They help, they help you get stronger. Because at the end of the day, you can't be losing your head, losing your mind when... Could you imagine if you didn't go through anything in life And you got older And you had a flat tire Do you know how much you would flip out From that flat tire Because you've never gone through anything That's the way life works It's supposed to teach you to deal with Those little annoyances in life You give your little eye roll You do your little sigh Alright, what I gotta do Keep it moving uh, A friend of mine is gonna be a little mad about this But I'll, I'll tell this quick story Uh they locked their key. Like this person, like they, they did like eight, like you know one. You, everybody's had one of these days where like ten things happen, yeah. and it's just back to back to back. A friend of mine, they locked their key in the house. They locked their phone in the house. Like, <laughs> like they did like eight things. Like that, that I, that I think like. <laughs> no, I think they locked their key in the car with their phone in the car, yeah. and when I say this person was dealing with. A couple of other things that was going on I won't put that, that out there And I mean the person was So upset And it's like I understood And you know they joked me about it I understood I was kind of cold but I understood But I just said look Stop don't worry about it Do this 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 and that And sure enough You know by the end of the day We was both laughing about it because it was hilarious but that's the way life works, man. You can't sit there and let the little stuff take... Because little stuff are going to happen. And then, you know, even the big stuff, you know, it's something big. Yeah, regardless of what it is. Even the big stuff. Once something happens, you got to put it into perspective. How I'm going to deal with it. If you got to take a moment, take a moment. But, at the, yo, let me tell you this. Life don't stop for nobody. People don't wait for nobody. So you can sit there and you can have your moments where things just broke down and all this type of stuff. Because at the end of the day, you sit there and lose your mind and get sick or stress yourself to death. Listen, the, the people that whatever you think is in, the, the people that's in your corner and this and that, trust me, life will move on. Something, whatever happened to you, they're not going to stop doing what they're doing. You end up sick or in the grave. They're not going to stop what they're doing. And these jobs out here. All respect to anybody that's working and this and that. All respect to, you know, the ones that got cool employees and all that type of stuff. All respect. There's no disrespect. But at the end of the day, you have to have a realist point of view on things. You have to understand that these jobs do not give a dang. They don't. At the end of the day, it's about profits. It's business. Quick as you've gone, they're going to replace you they just go, like that. Just man. like that. Just like that. So, you know, I'm not out here telling you to not work hard. Or anything along those lines, work hard. Do your job to the best of your abilities. But don't sit there and let no job kill you. Because yeah, trust and believe me, they will replace you. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. And just to piggyback, just to go back to what I was talking about initially, yo, don't let that big stuff kill you, yo. Like, don't. Yo, don't let it take you out. 
Don't let stress kills. Yeah. Listen, I got family that died, died like on some realness because they stressed themselves to death. That ain't no joke. Take care of yourself. I'm going to throw this one out there. I know people ain't going to want to hear this, too. Man, work the heck out, man. Do something, <laughs> yo. <laughs> like, do something. And I'm talking to those that, like, that stay, like, on some, like, oh, I got to get in the gym and all that. Then go do it, then. Legit, legit. legit. You, you, already, you already know what's going to happen, right? New year, new me. Ah, oh, here we go. You already know that's about to happen, that's right? Gonna, that's going to last until February. <laughs> Not even that, man. They're going to get their membership January 1st. And then January 14th, they will stop working out. You already know that's how it's going to happen. But, look, I try to keep up with this man right here, man. You know how hard that is? You know what I'm saying? Like, this dude even, is a workout warrior, man. And I'm not even, like, like I've seen some work. He says that. That's a compliment. Thank you. Yeah. That's so sweet. Yo, I've seen workout warriors, man. I've seen dudes that put me to shame. Like, I'm like, yo, because I ain't the strongest dude. I'll knock you out, but I ain't the strongest dude. Like, <laughs> but, whoo. Yeah, man, but, um, but yeah, man, just, like, don't be afraid of change, you know what I'm saying, man? Ooh, that's one right there, yo, the yeah. change one. Yeah, you're right. Don't be afraid of change, man, because, I mean, change is going to come, and uh -huh. sometimes it's going to be a little scary. Sometimes you're not going to know what to do with it. You ain't even going to be prepared for it, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, man, but, 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 but. But God wouldn't put you in that situation if he didn't think that you was ready. You know Indeed. what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? You just got to just embrace it and um, just just know that you you are able to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you have what it takes to do what God put you in that position to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know 2020 is going to have a lot of change coming in both of our lives. You know what I'm saying? I know we talked about uh certain projects that we're gonna do next oh, year oh, oh. um and i'm looking forward to it i know he's looking forward to it and all i can say is because uh, i don't i don't really believe in just putting that out there you know what i'm saying i'd rather just show show the action you know what i'm saying instead of just putting it out there what we're gonna do and stuff like that just know that next year is gonna be a good year put that out there from the beginning and work at it from the beginning of the year so that you're not looking back at the end of the year like oh man the next year is going to be the year or whatever like that you know because you know i know we've all done that you know said oh 2019 is going to be our year this you know whatever you know and then december rolls around and you feel like dang i didn't really do much whatever 2020 if you need to if, if you got a goal to save up x amount of dollars you know Write a plan out, whereas you know I need to save X amount of dollars each week, each month, each paycheck, whatever, you know. Like, make that a priority, you know, working out. Make that a priority, man. Like, there's 24 hours in the day. We all got the same 24 hours in the day, man. If you got to sacrifice an hour of sleep for you just to go to the gym and do, like, you know, quick workout, whatever, you can do that. You know what I'm saying, man? Everybody got the same amount of time, man. So, don't put excuses out there. You know what I'm saying, man? Because nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to hear your excuses, man. God don't want to hear that, man. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody want to hear it, man. Just everybody has what it takes, man. Everybody has what it takes. I like that. Everybody definitely does, man. You know, just be thankful, man. Be thankful for the roof over your head. Be thankful for the friends you got in your life, the family that, that you got in your life, people that that stick by you, that, that 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 help you, that have faith in you, that 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 put you up, you know what I'm saying? That 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 big you up, you know, that support you. And um man, just know that things could be a lot worse for you, man. Like for real, man. Cause every day, every single day I drive, I see a homeless person. And it yeah. breaks my heart, yo. Yeah. It really does. Cause I'm just like, I always just immediately think Damn, yo, what did that person go through in their life to, to get them to that the street, yeah. to get them to that point? You know what I'm saying? There's so much I want to do to help people, man. You know, I know we both want to help people out. And, you know, we'll eventually get in that position where we can actually do certain things that we want to do to help people out and stuff like that, whatever. But 
man, just just be grateful, man. If, if, if even if you even if you don't got the car right now, you know what I'm saying. Be thankful that you may have the money to pay for a lift or, or whatever, you know, or even a bus or whatever. Be thankful for the job that you have. You know, some people don't have a job right now. You know, be thankful for the food that you eat. Man, some people out here hungry. You know what I'm saying? Opportunities, man. Just be thankful for all the opportunities that come your way, man. And just, just know that it could be, it could have been given to somebody else, man. For real, man. Don't, don't, don't get too big headed to the point where you just start feeling yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it could all be taken away like that, man. For at the drop of a hat, it could be taken away. Man. So, man, just includes for me. Just um, you know, 2020. Just make that a year where you don't say you do. That's it. Like you don't have to say nothing. Don't tell nobody nothing that you're about to do, man. Just do it. Just do it. Let people be surprised. At the growth that you about to do next year, man. And those who support you will support you. Those who don't, you'll quick you'll realize that quickly and you keep it moving. Keep it moving. That's it. So, so ooh, this video long. I oh, know, right? <laughs> hey, hey. I mean, it's the end of the year wrap up because I'm not doing another video. So there you go. <laughs> this is my last video of 2019. To the five people that watch my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, but seriously though, um, he basically wrapped up the rest of it, man. And um, so we just finish this video out with just saying, listen, those that take a peek at my videos, those that do watch, those that do thumbs up, those that have subscribed, you know, whatever, those that follow me on Instagram, those that follow. That shattered lens, boy. Shattered lens, shattered man. lens man. Oh. Or follow that man, man. Follow his work, man. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to tell you, man. Next year, I'm trying to tell you. you know that's that all way. I'm going to say. That's that insane genius right there. Man. You heard him? So y'all heard me, man. Breeze Rider, a.k.a. Master Swami, a.k.a. Some of y'all just know me as Mike. <laughs> Michael. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just want to say... I got nothing but love for everybody. Who deserve it? <laughs> Yo, I, I was about to say something else, but no, perfect. Right. Who deserve it? Who deserve it? And those that don't deserve it, you got my love as far as you being a human being. You know, that, that's about it, you know. But um, shout out to the strongest woman I know, my mother, our mother. Facts. Super facts. Facts. Super facts. It's the strongest woman I've ever met in my entire life. I does. <laughs> Duh. You know, like I, I don't, I don't know where me and this man would be without her. Yeah. Definitely don't know where. Um, shout out to my daddy, man. My <laughs> dad, man. It's not funny. I don't even call him that. Pops, man. Shout out to pops, man. We, you know, love him and man, a natural born hustler. Yo, like, natural born hustler, like, the biggest heart, man. Like biggest heart. I'm telling you, man. Like he'll give you the shirt off his back, man. Like that's straight the, like that. You know? If you look at us and you say, like, man, you care about people. I'm not saying my mom don't care about people. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, my father has the biggest heart, yo. Yeah. Shout out to that man right there. Absolutely. We love him to death. You know, things get right. We gonna make sure he right. Exactly. You know. Exactly. Our, 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 Aunt Be Aunt Bev, you know, you know, our cousins, grandma, yeah, your grandma, grandma big you shout out, grandma, grandma G, <laughs> you know, grandma straight G, man, another one though, man, big heart, man, she does, she love people and just love to pray for people and just most some of the most spiritual spiritual women I have ever met in my life, man, and. But just real You know there's just people That's out there That's just That's spiritual And that's, that's you know That's religious And all that type of stuff But they just They just they, I don't know man they, they, Man they tell it like it is man yeah, they, 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 Why people they tell afraid. it like it they, is they, yo. They're not afraid To be honest man Bro. They're not man So shout outs to all Of our family members man I'm gonna do a shout out To all of the people That's behind us You know So we may have friends But I know for a fact That all my friends Don't support me You know Don't support my brother you know, and that's cool. You know, we don't we don't vibe, we don't move the way you want to. You know, you rather support the foolishness or whatever else. That's cool. You know, I ain't knocking nobody, but I'm gonna say shout out to 
those that support, yeah. that look out, that 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 you know that got your back, you know, and and that show love, you know. There's still good people out here in this Plenty world. Plenty of man. good There's people. There's still good people. There's still honest people. There's still trustworthy people out Plenty. here, man. When they come in your life, cherish, them, cherish man. them, yo. Because, That's man, they don't come around that often. No, I had, I'm, 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 I've always known that, but. Like I said, I, I got to a point where I just I just closed off and you know I and I had to like open up a little bit you know especially to those that's deserving you know but you know I, but one more lesson you stay vigilant stay vigilant those people one moment they good with you the next moment they not yep. I'd had people that told me in one breath they love me and the next breath talking the illest about me yep. and trust me. You'll always find out yep, who those people are. Absolutely. So, always stay vigilant. Always, always, always keep your head on the swivel. Yep. You know. And a last big, big shout out. Last big shout out to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, man. God, Father God. Amen. Big shout out because without my faith in Jesus, without my faith in Father God. Man, I'd be doing some things, man. Because some of the things that I'd be having some evil thoughts, man. No lie. That I want to do to people. And I don't. I'd be having some thoughts, man, of doing certain things. And I don't. Because this world sets you up to where they, they, they want you to do any and everything to get ahead. Yeah. And, and, and certain things I just won't do. Yeah. And my faith, my family, those two are the big factors in it. That keep me from doing a lot of things. And and I'm thankful for that. Because ain't no telling where I would be. In the grave. In jail. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. And then another thing, man. Never compromise your integrity. Man. Never, Real, yo. Never. There's a lot of people out here who, you know, kind of dangle that dollar in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can have this if you do such and such or whatever, you know? And... Those people out there, that's a test right there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, are you willing to sell your soul for a dollar? I know one thing. I'm not. I know he's not. I don't know my people, my family are not. You know what I'm saying? No matter how long it takes to get to where we want to get to, we're going to do it the right way. We're not going to you know, take any shortcuts that's going to compromise our integrity, our faith, whatever. You know, That's just how it's going to be. That's just how we are. <laughs> Them Fogarty boys. Them Fogarty boys. Them Fogarty boys. Yeah, man, if you are, right. if you are still with us in this thirty-three minute long video, is this live? No, oh. no. I'm just going to post it on <laughs> okay, YouTube yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But thank you. We'll see you next year. Get it. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. I hate that I can't say DFB. Cause, cause you know, don't want no copyright issues. <laughs> <laughs> Them folky boys, we out. We out. Peace. Bless. Most stuff.